Hi everyone and I welcome all of you to Baiju's exam prep. Guys, in today's session, we are going to be dealing with the daily current affairs. This is going to be for the QET examinations and I'm going to be doing the most important question series for you. So if you've been a person who has attended our daily current affairs, it is going to be very beneficial because it's going to help you in revising everything that you've not. Remember one thing, uh, these classes uh, are actually going, this is going to be the one-stop approach for you. So if you're doing the examination, the most important, the most probable questions are going to be mentioned over here. You might get direct questions and if not direct, they will be definitely related to the topic that I'm going to give you here in these questions. So please have a look at them, closely look at them and then you answer. So as you know, we have a flat 20% sale going on for the IPMAT, the QED, the NPAT examinations. Please use the code HEALTH20. This is a Sehat Achi to Success Pakki sale. And it's this amazing sale which is going to go on for two days. Please avail it at the in, at the most important point. Now, if you're confused about which course you should be attempting, whether you should be going for a BBA IPM hotel management course or a QSET course, which one you should be going for? I, if you're confused with that and you're seeing our courses and you're getting confused which one is the one for you, please call us the counselors on the number given on your screen. They are actually sitting down to help you and make you understand which, uh, you know, which, course is the most relevant for your examination which one will help you in cracking the examination with the maximum level of outcome the very first question which state uh, will organize the himalayan film festival 2021 ladakh uttarakhand himachal or jammu a very very good evening to all of you ladakh uttarakhand himachal pradesh or jammu kashmir the himalayan film festival is going to be Okay, so the answer here is going to be A, Ladakh. As you know, the first edition of the Himalayan Film Festival will begin on the 24th to 28th of September at Leh. The Information Broadcasting Minister Anurag Thakur will inaugurate it. The film festival is organized by the Administration of Union Territory of Ladakh in collaboration with the Directorate of Film Festivals, Ministry of Information and Broadcasting, Government of India. The next one. Which state government has launched two ambitious schemes, Atmanirbhar Krishi Yojana and Atmanirbhar Bhagwani Yojana, Bhagwani Yojana, Karnataka, Madhya Pradesh, Uttra, Uttar Pradesh or Arunachal Pradesh? So, which state government has launched the ambitious schemes of Atmanirbhar Krishi Yojana, Atmanirbhar Bhagwani Yojana? Yes. So the answer here is going to be D, Arunachal Pradesh. We are launching two ambitious schemes, the Atmanirbhar Krishi Yojana and the Atmanirbhar Bhagwani Yojana. The next one, who has, which of the following has conferred the Hunarbaz Awards to 75 uh, Divyangjan candidates from 15 states? Ministry of Rural Development, Ayush Ministry, Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Ministry of Social Justice. Hello, Kinza. Hunarbaz awards to 75 uh, Divyangan candidates. Okay. So, this is obviously, uh, they are a part of Ministry of Rural Development. It was given as a part of Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsap, the 75 years of Indian independence. And it also marks the birth anniversary of Pandit Deen Dayal Upadhyay on 20, 25th of September 2021. The next one. Who has won the Formula Racing Grand Prix Russian 2021? Max Verstappen, Carlos Sainz, Louis Hamilton or Valtteri Bottas? Guys, if the answer is wrong, so it doesn't, it's not going to cost you anything. If the answer is wrong, it means that you are at least trying. And if the answer is wrong, it means that you have an imprintation in your mind. That I have done it wrong. So even if you don't know the answers, at least try. How much you try, it will be more beneficial. Make sure that you are continuously trying whatever you are doing. Okay? So yes, the answer here is C. Louis Hamilton. The next one. Identify the wrong statement regarding Ayushman Bharat digital mission launched by PM Narendra Modi. 
it will enable access and exchange of both longitudinal health record of citizens with their consent the new program will help create interoperability within the digital health ecosystem it will also help ensure security confident confidentiality and privacy of health related personal information none of the above ayushman bharat digital mission bahut important topic hai ye very good uh, sandha krishna good kinza yes the answer guys the answer to this one is b all of the above are correct if you notice this answer narendra modi has launched a digital bharat mission through video conferencing it is going to bring revolutionary changes in our healthcare system it will eliminate all the problems that people are having in their medical treatments whether they are poor or the middle class people it will also actually help them in eliminating the problem the next one india has signed a white shipping agreement with which country uae oman kuwait or bahrain kis country ke sath india ne ek white shipping agreement ko sign kara hai uae oman kuwait or bahrain so the answer here is b the uh, oman so indian navy and the royal navy of oman has signed an mou on the exchange of white shipping information okay kapoor kalamkari paintings karupur and uh, kalla kurichi wood, wood carvings belong to which state who have been awarded gi tags kerala tamil nadu karnataka or puducherry okay so this one is obviously tamil nadu so as you know the kalamkari paintings the wood carvings of the kanyakumari cloth they all are the gi which has been given to tamil nadu so it is actually done on pure cotton cloth and it is a unique form of wood carving the next one in association with oxford poverty and human development initiative which organization has released the global multidimensional poverty index unep ilo undp or the unesco okay the answer is united nations development program the global multidimensional poverty index was released by it and it has data from over 109 countries and 59 billion people the next one who has been chosen for the fourth satyajit ray award for his overall contribution to indian cinema nedumudi venu jati ratnalu b gopal or arun kumar arvind
the answer is c b gopal he is a telugu film maker uh and the satyajit film award kerala is a state based organized the award is given 10000 rupees as cash prize a memento and blog he has directed over 32 telugu 30 telugu films and two hindi films in his long tenure the next one the utter emission for rejuvenation and urban transformation has been approved until which year 2023 24 2024 25 25-26 or 26 the answer is c 2025 to 26 the next one the vision plan 2021 to 2031 21, 21 to 31 for the indian zoo is related to which of the following zoological survey of india central zoo authority department of museum and zoos or the world association of zoos and aquarium So this is B, the Central Zoo Authority. The Union Minister has released the vision plan for Indian zoos to upgrade them to global standards, strengthening the Central Zoo Authority. It is committing for making the Central Zoo Authority and Indian zoos a larger force for conservation by providing unparalleled animal care, cutting-edge research, and immersive visitor experiences that strike meaningful chords with people of all ages. The next one, Niti Aayog. The United Nations Development Program Handbook on Sustainable Urban Plastic Waste has been launched in which of the following places: rural bodies, panchayat, urban local bodies, or the NDMCs? Yes. So the answer here, guys, is C. Urban local bodies. The next one. Desh ke mentor is a state launched. Uh, is a state government launched mentorship program. It is launched for for children studying in class nine to twelve of government schools. So it is done in which state? Kerala, Delhi, Odisha, or Uttar Pradesh? yes so the answer is b delhi so delhi has launched this desh ke mentor program for children studying in class 9 to 12 of government schools the next one which country has convened the g20 extraordinary summit on afghanistan uh united kingdom france germany or italy
Okay. The answer here is D, Italy. Who has been elected as the third woman president of the European Union's parliament? Roberta Metzola, Carolina Etzadler, Angelica Winzek, or Bettina Wolak? Yes, the answer here is A, Roberta Metzola. What is the estimate of the global unemployment level in 2022 as per ILO Wieso Trends Report of 2022? 107 million, 155 million, 186 million or 207 million? Okay, the answer is 2,207 2, million. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has launched the India Assisted Social Housing Pro Unit Project in which country? Indonesia, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, or Mauritius? In, in, uh, in India Assisted Housing Units has been made in which of the following countries? So, as you know, the answer is going to be D, Mauritius. Who has won the Women's Single Open 2022? Busanan, Arachano, Akhane, or Nozomi Ukhara? Hanupam Pathak, Shalini Kumari, Yogita Yadav, Ali Mithaiwala. Okay, you have Okay, great, great. Yes, the answer is A. Busanan. The Amar Jaman Jyoti was erected. To honor thousands of Indian soldiers who were martyred during which of the following? Indo Pak War, Kargil War, World War II, or the Indo Pak War of 1971? See the options on your screen. Yes. So this is uh, the Indo Pak War of 1971. Abhi Ahmed has been uh, signed as the Prime Minister of which country for a second five-year term? Ethiopia, South Sudan, Nigeria or Morocco? So the answer is A, Ethiopia. So guys, with that, we come to an end with the session today. Thank you everyone for being online and giving me your time. Thank you everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.